moving on to eighth question show that angles of equilateral triangle are 60 each now moving on to the solution he asked us to prove that angles in a equilateral triangle are 60 degrees each now initially before finding that angles in an equilateral triangle are 60 degrees let us know what is equilateral triangle we can say a triangle is said to be equilateral if all the sides of triangle are equal now let us draw an equilateral triangle abc in which all the sides are equal that is ab is equal to bc is equal to ca we know that in triangle the angles opposite to equal sides or equal we can also say that angle a is equal to angle b is equal to angle c let us assume that all the three angles is equal to x degrees we know that sum of angles in any triangle is equal to 180 degrees we can say angle a plus angle b plus angle c here will be equal to 180 degrees which implies angle a is x degrees plus angle b is x degrees and c is x degrees is equal to 180 degrees which implies 3 times x degrees is equal to 180 degrees that implies x degrees is equal to 180 degrees by 3 which is equal to 60 degrees therefore we got angle a is equal to angle b is equal to angle c is equal to 60 degrees all the three angles in the equilateral triangle are 60 degrees which is the required proof moving on to first question triangle abc and triangle dbc are two isosceles triangles on the same base bc and vertices a and d are on same side of bc if ad is extended to intersect bc at p show that triangle abd is congruent to triangle acd and second triangle abp is congruent to triangle act and ap bisects angle a as well as angle d and fourth thing ap is perpendicular bisector of bc now moving on to solution in the first question he asked us to prove triangle abd is congruent to triangle acd so let us consider triangles triangle abd and triangle acd and let us check the similarities in them now if we consider triangle abd and triangle acd we can say that ab is equal to ac as given that they are isosceles triangles abc is isosceles triangle and we can also say that db will be equal to dc as he has also given that dbc is also a isosceles triangle and here we have ad as a common side for both abd and acd now according to side 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 property triangle abd is congruent to triangle acd now in order to prove the second proof let us consider the triangles ap abp and triangle acp a b p and a c p in these triangles a b is equal to a c as he has given that a b c is isosceles triangle and also angle b will be equal to angle c as in isosceles triangle angles opposite to equal sides are equal
so we can say that from above step or above given equality we can say angle B is equal to angle C and also in this AT is the common side for both the triangles now by SAS property we can say that triangle ABP is congruent to triangle ACP which is the second proof we require as triangle ABP is congruent to triangle ACP we can say that corresponding angles and corresponding sides in both the triangles will be equal thereby we can equate angle BAP and angle CAP that is angle BAP is equal to angle CAP now as angle BAP is equal to angle CAP we can say that AP is bisecting angle A and also we can say that BP is equal to PC as corresponding sides of two congruent triangles triangle ATB and ATC are equal and thereby we can say that in triangle BDC if we consider that P is midpoint of BC as BP is equal to PC angles opposite to equal sides or equal therefore we can equate angle BDP is equal to angle CPD therefore we can say that DP is bisecting angle D or if we take extension to A we can say that AP is bisecting angle D here we prove that AP is bisecting angle A and angle D both which is the third proof required in order to prove that AP or DP is bisecting angle BDC let us initially prove the congruency of triangle BPD and CPD now so let us consider in triangle BPD and triangle CPD DB is equal to BC as given that DBC is isosceles triangle and we can say that DP is equal to DP which is the common side now angle DBP and angle DCP will be equal as they are the opposite angles for the equal sides BD and DC so we can write angle DBP is equal to angle DCP as angles opposite to equal sides or equal therefore by SAS property we can say that triangle BPD is congruent to triangle CPD when two triangles are congruent then their corresponding sides and corresponding angles will be equal therefore we can equate both the angles BDP and CDP BDP is equal to angle CDP therefore as both the angles or equal about the line DP we can say that DP or its extension AP is bisecting angle D therefore we can say that AP is bisecting both angles angle A and angle D which is the third proof we require from above congruency we can say that BP is equal to CP as BP is equal to CP we can say that 
AP is just bisect arc and we can also equate the corresponding angles that is angle CPD is equal to angle BPD and here if we observe clearly P is a point lying on BC so angle BPD and angle CPD form a linear pair we know that sum of angles that form a linear pair is equal to 180 degrees we can write angle CPD plus angle BPD is equal to 180 degrees which implies angle CPD can be replaced by angle BPD plus angle BPD is equal to 180 degrees which implies angle BPD plus angle BPD is 2 times angle BPD which is equal to 180 degrees that implies angle BPD is equal to by transposing 2 on right hand side we get 180 degrees by 2 which is equal to 90 degrees so we can write that angle CPD is equal to angle BPD is equal to 90 degrees so AP is a bisector and it is perpendicular to the base so we can say that AP is perpendicular bisector of BC